citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and it is time for headlines. Goodyear announced a new concept of some tires that'll let you drive in any direction. Eagle 360 is the name of the project, and Goodyear showed it off at the Geneva Auto Show earlier this week. These tires don't use axles for suspension. Instead, they would use magnetic levitation to stay in place. The tire design also includes a surface that would adjust to various elements, and the spherical design would help cars avoid sliding on ice or other hazardous materials. Sensors on the tires would register wear and even send road information to other cars. This design is just a concept right now, but Goodyear thinks this could make self-driving cars even safer. Yeah, I love that part in the video where the parking lot all shit all the cars in the parking lot yeah, shift because they can because they can so cool so Spher cool spherical tires are the future you guys really really neat uh over at mit like we we like to check in with mit three students have designed a flying drone that may help artists collaborate with each other even over long distances Flying pantograph is a fresh take on an older concept. Pantographs have actually been used since the 1600s to duplicate drawings, and now these MIT Fluid Interfaces Group students have substituted a drone into that process. It uses a boring old pen and paper for the artist, motion tracking technology, and a whiteboard marker strapped on to the drone to replicate your art. The drawings can be scaled up or down to the user's specification, and Flying Pantograph's creators say this concept could lead to collaborations that were previously impossible. Examples of those collaborations include helping disabled people create art using eye and face tracking, not unlike Eye Conductor, so cool. and also letting artists who are far away from each other work on the same piece at the same time. That's so rad. There's a, there's a fantasy novel called The Stormlight Archive, and in it, these characters create a psychic link and one writes something and the other miles away it's writes like it. It's like that. It's like that, but real. Science fact, science fiction. Oh, man. Smush, smush. So um, rad. What do you want to talk about? Um, I think well. these are both awesome stories. I could really go either way. I'm fascinated by the tires. I feel like we got to go tires. Yeah. that seems like a thing where, that seems so futuristic, you guys. I just really want to It seems like it's something that might actually happen? be useful for everyday people, like yeah. in, in your car. So. And there's a lot more details about how the tires would work and what they're made of and all that stuff. I think we could really get into that. Well, we will deep dive into that on tomorrow's episode. So come back and check that out. You can also participate in our conversation by using our hashtag HeyTD. Yeah, if you shout at us with HeyTD, you can talk about any of the stories that we've discussed on this week's short episodes. And then if we like your tweets, we will bring them into the long episode and talk about you right in front of your faces. <laughs> That'll show you. <ya>. Yeah. <laughs> hey, right now it's time for our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Gatlin, who sent in this photo with their droid Razor Max. Also, a really cool name. Yeah, Gatlin, I like that. Gatlin writes, hello. This is a picture of my front yard at sunset that I took with my droid Razor Max. Also, I'm a student at Crescent High School. Not too long ago, my teacher, Amy Gray, was featured on your show with a picture for her class. Thank you for your hard work. And I, of course, give you permission to use this picture. Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was so rad. This is this is one of the kids we were talking Our to. Our offer still stands, Amy Gray. Yeah. We will FaceTime, Skype in, Hangouts, your classroom, and we can do a little fun Q&A or something. So email us, and if you yeah. want to send your photography, also email us tomorrow at CNET.com. I just think it's so cool that the class is watching. Yes. Much better than homework. <laughs> hey, you guys are definitely going to be want to watch. Going to be want to watch. You're going to going to be want to watch. Tomorrow's episode, we have an amazing guest. Uh, it was really a highlight of my life. The... It's, it's Steve Wozniak. Yeah. A man who changed the world. Yeah, we, play, we, we, we talked to him about some really fun stuff. Uh, so definitely tune in tomorrow for that. Uh, and our deep dives. And uh, it's going to be a really fun episode. Tomorrow. Yes. Also find us on social media. We're lots of fun there, we promise. Mostly. And also, uh, like Jeff said, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new doc. And we're going to deep dive in to all the fun stuff we talked Love about it. this week. But until then... Be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.